Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know. And if you are new to the channel, thank you for being here, welcome to the family, subscribe and join our family because we're here for you every day. So, I want to just take a few minutes before I get into the reading and the cards to just speak a little bit about the coronavirus because I know it's creating mass panic right now and where, yeah, did you hear that then in the street? Everything happens for a reason. So there's alarm bells going off. You know, we're hearing things on the radio, on the news, things on social media, and it's creating fear. And it doesn't help that wherever you live in the world, the same things are going on. People are panic buying things. You know, in places like Italy and China, you know, there's horrendous things going on. Lockdown, you know, sending you all so much love, support, power, strength, you know, you've got this and, you know, even Ireland now have gone into lockdown. So wherever you are, wherever's going on, I think Spain's had school closures, we're sending you love. Love from me and George and remember all the angels are with you and the Prime Minister Boris Johnson did um, a speech yesterday and I actually tuned in for that. That was so strange, I didn't know that was happening, I just picked my phone up and it was on. And, you know, that was all about how, you know, the UK right now is going into the second stage, the delay phase. And this is very much about we're 14 uh, weeks behind Italy. So it's very probable that the UK will also go into lockdown. You know, things will start closing down. There's going to be mass changes and we have to be very, very strong. And we have to be stronger than the fear because this is all built through fear. You know, and it's all spiraling out of control through fear. So you have to rise above fear and you have to realise how powerful you are. And the angels are saying as well that because this is all going on and we have to remember as a twin flame, things out there are reflecting what's going on within. As a twin flame, we're seeing things saying the apocalypse, the end is nigh and all of these things. And it's actually helping the divine masculines to realize the truth. It's actually helping the divine masculines to realize how important you are to them and their journey. So because they are facing outer fears as well as inward fears, because usually the masculines are dealing with inward fears. This is helping them to tune into who they really are and helping them to realize who you are to them. So this is also having an effect on the collective. And it's actually a good thing because there's good things coming from this. So as bad as it seems, there's a blessing underneath. And we have to remember in everything, everything has a divine plan. You know, the creator knows more than we do. So we have to trust because we really are protected by an army of angels, you know? And these aren't little fluffy angels that live in the clouds. These are warriors of light. Like the pictures I've been showing on the community post and on the stories, you know? This is warriors. The angels are warriors and they've got you. You know, you've got a beautiful guardian angel with you all the time, but you've got an army of angels at your disposal. You know, the army of angels, the bands of mercy angels for protection. So anytime you feel afraid, anytime you're being dragged into the fear, call on the angels and they will give you the strength of an army. And you can stand strong and fight for what you believe in and know that you'll survive and live another day. So there may be a lot of chaos out there, but you have to calm the inner storm. You may not be able to calm the outer storm with what's going on around you, but you can certainly bring in peace. And that's what's the most important right now. So I'd like to offer up a prayer. If we just take a couple of minutes to breathe in, release and give this to heaven. Thank you, angels and the creator, for watching over all of us right now. Thank you for helping us to know in the midst of this chaos, in the midst of this coronavirus, that we are safe and taken care of. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for watching over us, our loved ones and our journey, for helping us to raise our vibration, to feel strong, to feel powerful, to know that we are loved, to know that everything has a reason and that after a season, this too shall pass, that we are safe. Thank you for helping us to tune into who we are. 
Thank you for helping us to know what to do, to know what to say, to know where to go, to help to raise the vibration of others into the alignment of love and replace fear with love, to remove doubts or struggle, to remove chaos. Thank you for helping the NHS in the UK and all of the medical services worldwide to provide a service a calm service so that we can get the best care possible and that everyone affected by this coronavirus can help and heal. Thank you angels for helping us all to know that we are safe and to guiding us what to do. Where do we need to go? What do we need to do? What do we need to say? Thank you angels for showing us and helping us and guiding us and allowing us to feel the love in our hearts and to feel the safety. Thank you Archangel Michael for shielding us and for helping us to know that we have an army of angels right by our side and that we are protected and most of all that we are loved and that we are safe and when we communicate with love not fear that everything will be okay. So thank you angels for helping us today to know that everything will be okay, that we will be okay and for giving us signs that we are loved and supported. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. <sighs> okay. When I was praying then, I really felt that it was like I was being pushed down a little bit. So a lot of power energy around pressure. And you may feel, if you had your eyes closed, a lot of the pressure being released there. So a lot of power energy coming in. So thank you for staying with me through that prayer. I feel it was needed worldwide right now. Sending you all so much love. Whew. Okay. So we've been having some really powerful readings lately for the Twin Flames because things are moving forward. You may not see it, but you can feel it, something's coming. And the more you stay in your positive energy, the more you're expecting the best, the best things will come. So I'm going to use four decks of cards today. We're going to use the wisdom of the um, wisdom of the oracle cards. We're going to use the good tarot. We're going to use angels and ancestors by the amazing Carl Gray, and we're going to use the everyday witch tarot. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know today, please, for the divine feminine? What do we need to know today, please, for the divine feminine? One card. What do we need to know, please, for the divine masculine? Okay, I'm taking what I'm guided. What do we need to know for this amazing journey today, please? Thank you. What do we need to know, please, angels, for the divine feminines today? What guidance have you got for the feminines today? Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm taking out anything that's jumping and one on the floor. What do we need to know for the divine masculines today, please, angels? What do we need to know for the masculines for the journey today? Thank you. What do we need to know for the feminines today, please, angels? Thank you for the masculines today, please, angels. And for the journey, wow, okay. And tarot then, what do we need to know for the feminines? What's going on with the feminines today? Taking out anything that's jumping, anything I'm guided to. This is all for the feminines right now. What do we need to know for the divine masculines right now? What do we need to know for the divine masculines right now? Wow, okay. Okay, a couple of cards jumping out here, a couple on the floor. And what do we need to know about the journey? What do we need to know about this twin flame journey? Thank you. Okay, so as I said before, you know, there's this energy of fear around right now with the coronavirus. And I actually feel it's working in the favour of the feminines because the masculines are waking up. They're starting to realise what's real, you know, what's important. So even if they've pushed you away, they're going to start thinking about you now because the end is nigh. And the end isn't really nigh, but that's what people are saying. You know, talking about the apocalypse, the end of the world, walking around with signs in cities saying the end is nigh. And we have to realise that we are safe and protected. But he's helping the masculines to open up, so... Let's see first of all what's going on on the journey. Wow. Well, on the journey, it is a journey of love. And this is beautiful because once again, we're being shown the power of the connection. We're being shown the power of union, the power of the love. You know, that this two of cups is the most powerful card that you can get for romantic connections. So it's showing the love. And it's like you're toasting the future. 
you can feel the future is bright the sun is coming out again we're ready for a new season the spring is coming forward motion change so you're feeling this energy right now and you're, you're connecting with your emotions so we've got the water guardian there and I really feel this is the water dragons coming in, helping us to see through the illusion, to move around the obstacles, to see through fear. And the blue colour of Archangel Michael is helping us all to stay strong. So especially the masculines right now, facing their emotions, becoming more in tune with who they are, going within, doing deep thinking. And it's bringing in decisions. And this may be why you're having the shoulder pain because of the burdens that are being released, the teeth pain because, you know, there's decisions being made, jaw pain, neck pain right now because things are being changed. What you thought was how it was is changing. So there's a lot of change, replacing doubt and fear energy with love and positive thinking. Optimism coming in, changes the sword of truth. So it's showing dramatic change coming in and standing up for what you believe in. Thinking about things, letting go. You know, this is very much about letting go, surrender. So the more we surrender on the journey, the quicker the masks come off. And that's what's happening now. All that glitters all that glitters, so it's saying all that glitters isn't gold, so this is the masculines realising that there's more to life than this, wherever they're going through the masks that they are wearing, they're now starting to crumble off because of what's going on in the world, so they're starting to face up to their own personal world, they're starting to realise that all the distractions and the things that they're doing don't make up for the truth which is their divine feminine, is the light, the strength and the power. The divine feminine, your, you, your masculine is thinking of you as the treasure. So you're what glitters, you're the gold, what the facing now isn't. And they've just made me bang arm up there. So I also feel the masculines are being brought into the now. You know, they may be kind of banging their arms up or walking into things or knocking the feet, you know. And you may also be experiencing that. And that's the angel's way of getting your attention. It's the angel saying, well, come back into the now. So if you're fearing things right now, worrying about the future, what will happen with coronavirus? Will I be able to travel with that holiday I've booked up? What's going on? You know, will the schools close? Will everyone be okay? Will my mother be okay? Will the family be all right? Will my children be okay? Will this generation be okay? All the fear, doubts and worries. When you start going off in your mind and we're all human, which means we all do it. We may be spiritual beings, but we also go into ego. So when that happens, the angels will try and bring us back into the now by making us knock up our arms or to get our attention, to say, come back into to this moment now that's where you were safe but there's masks being removed right now change is coming in you know greatness and they're giving me the number four for angel protection so again if you start seeing fours and it gets stronger it's because you've been shown that all is well and you are safe now feminines we've got by the book and sometimes you do things by the book you know, you try and do what's right. Sometimes you do a reading and you follow the guidebook. Well, we're being guided to throw the guidebook away. Okay? You have to throw it away. Instead of doing things like you've always done it, dare to be different. Choose a new approach. Fresh starts are coming in. And this is showing you great change. We've got the number 11, which is about having compassion for yourself and your twin having compassion for the journey, being very gentle with yourself right now and not following the lead but being a leader. So this is showing you that you're not dimming to fit in, you were born to stand out so you're standing in your power. You know, you're leading others right now, you're being a leader. And this is showing, you know, don't be in that energy of fear because everyone right now seems to be following the crowd and as light workers and twin flames we have to dare to be different. To stand up and say, well, actually, we're all protected. There's a bigger picture right now. There's changes going on that are happening for a reason. So instead of following the crowd, be your own leader. It's showing you again this beautiful energy of the connection. 
super powerful because this is really the two of cups the two of water so it's showing again the emotion the love the coming together of feminine and masculine it's showing the energy diving deep right now facing fears and it's about thinking about emotions giving what you want to receive trusting in who you are knowing who you are and that your masculine is evolving and growing and waking up so I'm also feeling, you know, if you're a water sign, your masculine's a water sign or an air sign, you know, it's showing power coming in. But, you know, this isn't about the signs. This is about the divine feminines. And this is showing you power. And we've got Oracle, wait for important information. So it shows right now that you're waiting for things, you know, you're waiting for things to happen. You're waiting for knowledge. You're waiting for communication. You're waiting for all of these things. You're waiting for union. You know, you're waiting for results. You're waiting for things. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Well, you have to realize that you're being protected right now. And that above all else, that you are safe. That you've got this and you are supported. And that you're creating magic within you. Everything you're creating right now is being sent out into the universe. So trust in who you are. I'm also feeling Mother Mary around you right now, bringing in nurturing energy allowing you to heal, to know that you are loved and that you are loving towards others. I feel Mary Magdalene in this card, bringing in forgiveness, helping you to forgive yourself above all others. Forgive your twin to move out of fear into love. It's about knowing that you're protected and that you can sage everywhere right now and feel better. You know, they show me that like sage in your home, feeling good, removing toxic energy. We've got the Ace of Cups, so you're preparing for union. You know it's coming because you know that you're the lioness and your masculine is the lion. And that a king, the masculine, needs his queen, the feminine. So this is showing the strength coming in, the power of the connection, that you're speaking your truth, standing strong, and that you know that your masculine is gaining strength to do this right now, that they're becoming more spiritually mature, more spiritually aware, that they're starting to put a plan into place, you know, to work towards what they need to do. They're moving out of trapped energy and they're starting to believe. So feminines, this is about you tuning into your power, that you're moving out of trapped energy. You're moving out of fear. You're realizing the truth. You're knowing that your masculine is coming to you. You know that your masculine is becoming stronger. And because of that, you're becoming stronger. And you're putting a plan in place too for what you want to do. And you're gaining insight, knowledge and wisdom through readings, through your higher power, through your spiritual sight. It's about trusting in your intuition. Gaining the knowledge and understanding that you need to move you towards union. Acting as if. Being in the now, being in the presence of heaven, trusting that you are the oracle and that you know how you feel because that's real and that's guiding you in the right direction. Allowing your masculine to man up, to become the emperor, to stand strong, to delve deep, to go within, to face the emotions, to bring in the emotion of love and to lead others into the wonderful energy of love that always conquers fear. So a change is in the wind and we've got the number 12 there. So if you start seeing the number 12, the angels are showing you changes are coming and changes are good. The masculines right now are being guided to keep their thoughts positive about the future as what you are thinking influences your future. I'm just looking in the numbers book here by numbers, Angel Numbers 101 by Doreen Virtue. They're giving me the number 12. And 12, it's about remembering that love will always conquer fear. That positivity will beat negativity. So again, right now, the masculines are being shown that they have to remain positive, especially because of everything that's going on in the world. This is a message to keep your faith and hope strong because these are strong determining factors right now. And I actually feel the angels are getting a real message across as well in this reading about what's going on in the world. So if you start seeing the number 12 today, the angels are saying your positive thinking determines the outcome. It determines what happens. You have to raise the vibration for the whole of humanity right now. There's only us as light workers that can do this. So we have to remain strong. 
We have to remain powerful. We have to know who we are and remember who we are so that we can raise vibrations. And if someone's been negative around you in fear and panic, you can change their thinking by being you. And we've got a leg up. So the masculines are being helped right now. They're being helped from above. They're being shown the way they're given a leg up. And when you're given a leg up, it's as if you're trying to climb over a wall and someone gives you support to raise you up. Well, you're raising your masculine up right now. You're raising humanity. So this is about moving things forward. And what I'm really feeling is the masculines are starting to see. We've got serendipity. You know, the raising up, raising the vibration going within. A messenger of water so powerful you know they're receiving messages from their higher self that they want to express to you to be the messenger of water the messenger of emotion so the masculine's wanting to speak their truth right now to tell you how they feel the mirror guard you know, take time to reflect so a lot of reflection going on and this is why the masculines have gone within because they're processing their emotions they're becoming the magician right now they're starting to take control and this is all happening now in the energy of March moving forward realizing the truth that they can come to you and that you know there's a lot of crazy energy going on in the world right now you know we've got volcano energy there you know eruptions it's showing as well the fire dragon so there's chaos going on but the dragons are also helping and you know the dragons work on the other realms you know the dragons work between the realms so that they can clear away what can't be seen so the dragons will remove obstacles and clear the way so right now the masculines are wondering what you're doing you know they're wondering what you're doing if you've moved on Okay, they're wondering how you're feeling about things, about union, about the future. They're wondering if you're a bit shut down right now or how you'll react when they come forward to you because they are on their way to you. They want to tell you how they feel to express their love. So this is showing, you know, the thinking right now, how will she be? How will he be? Will, will they be okay if I come to them? Especially if you've been in separation for a while. But they also feel that you're surrendering and letting go. And it's bringing in power. It's wanting them to come forward to give to you. To give emotion, to give love, to express this love. So the masculines are wanting this right now because of all the fear in the world. So the fear in the world is helping them to see the truth. To have the truth reflected to them. To see you in that mirror. Because they want to tell you how they feel to express their love, to be the messenger of water. And they're diving deep right now, like the seahorse going within, to bring in serendipity, to bring in the fate and the destiny of the connection, to trust and have faith in the connection, to trust in the energy of peace that they've been helped, that they've been given a leg up right now to their future and making changes. So on a second note, you know, what you have to know is all the changes going on in the world right now and this crazy energy around, it's the change that's in the wind and it's going to give humanity a leg up to see the truth, to wake up, to move out of the matrix into the light. So all of this is happening on a higher level for a reason you might not understand. But you have to have faith in your journey, to have faith in who you are, to realise that you are strong, powerful and capable and you were born to stand out. You weren't born to fit in. You weren't born to fit. Well, yeah, you weren't born to fit in. Don't dim to fit in. So the angel is saying, remember that. If people are saying to you that you're crazy or weird because you're not panicking over coronavirus, remember that you're the sanest one of all because you realise the truth that this is a fear-based emotion, that this is a fear-based energy. It's a fear-based virus. And when you're operating from a place of love and light, you're above that energy. So you stand strong. You trust in who you are. You know that you are strong, powerful, and most of all capable of moving through through this because this too shall pass. Have a beautiful day, sending you lots of love and I'll see you soon.